Okay. Okay. Um, well, different languages have words for mostly um, similar kinds of things. I mean, because we're all human, you know, we have words for legs and arms and hands, and we have words for up and down, and we have words for family relations, words for food, and so forth. But it sort of gets a, a bit more serious when you realize there are some languages that lexicalize or have specific items for strange things like the number one and a quarter. You know, you know, why should you have a word for number one and a quarter? But then you should also say, you know, why in English don't we have a word for uh, everything with chrome handlebars? We don't, but be perfectly serviceable because we could then talk about bicycles, motor bicycles, lawnmowers and prams with a single word. How nice. But we don't. Some languages, though, not very many, but more than one, don't have words for left and right. And this seems to be quite a uh, mind-bogglingly um, bizarre deficiency in a language. How do you possibly manage in a language that doesn't have a left and right? Well, speakers of such languages use just as effectively, just as naturally, an orientation that depends not on the body, but on the sun. That's to say, their idea of left, which I guess we should call east, though actually it isn't because they live in Australia and it's the other way around and I can never quite remember how to do this. But anyway, if you're with a speaker of one of these languages and he points to a nasty insect crawling up your left leg, he may say, you know, there is a uh, tarantula on your southwest leg. But the same leg may be your northeast leg if you have just turned around. So the one side of things for them is where the sun rises and the other side of things is where the sun sets. It's obviously easier if you live out in the open in a sunny climate because then you can always see it. But even in gloomy northeastern United States, you know, we do use some kinds of cardinal orientation. You say, you know, where is uh, Lenox Hill? Somebody will say, oh, you go downtown from here or you go uptown from here. So even in Manhattanese, cardinal orientation is uh, perfectly feasible. But you simply can't translate that into, you know, tournez à gauche for a French tourist lost on Lexington Avenue. Okay? Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.